Now I got some hard truths to give you with this video. Some very hard truths perhaps, so just bear with me while I give them. It almost pains me to say this, but it's true, and I think everybody could really benefit from hearing it straight out. Life is not fair, and in fact, life gives no shits about you, personally, as a person, individually, doesn't care. Now, what I mean by that is to say that you can be a nice person, you can be a great guy or a great girl, whatever have you, you can be a wonderful human being, but life doesn't really keep score for that. Life cares about what you can do for it. What I mean by life is society in this case. I mean that society doesn't care that you're a nice person, doesn't care that you're a great and loving father, whatever. To a point it does, but are you productive? Are you valuable? Are you useful? That is what society really wants and cares about from you. Are you worthwhile to society? Do you produce something that it values? In essence, to go with an example from a Cracked article, link down below, society is somebody with a dying loved one out in the street who just got hit by a car, and you're this nice guy walking up, well, let me help, right? I'm a nice guy, I take care of my kids, I pay, whatever, I give charity. Society looks at you and says, I don't care. Are you a skilled surgeon? But you go, wait, but I could help. I'm, I'm a wonderful person, right? And the guy says, fuck off. You can't help. I don't care. And really, that's how society is in general. You could do a lot of things. You could be a great person. But society values you based on your productivity and your usefulness. That is the cold, hard truth here. When someone says, oh, well, I'm special, or you need to understand me, well, I'm in trouble and I need a break, society says, whatever, I don't care. Just shrugs its shoulders and moves on. And yes, that's kind of depressing and heartless and all of that, but it's also a necessary truth of society because, well, we can't all care about everyone forever. We can't. It's not possible for every person to care about every other person on an individual human level. We just aren't capable of it. So when we look at other people, and everyone's guilty of this to some degree, we look at them from an angle of what is useful to us from them. Are they producing something that I value? Like, for me, as a personal example, I am not a sports fan, so I don't care about sports players. Like, oh, that guy who did the thing with the sports ball, whatever. I, it does me no value, so it is not a part of my world, and I don't care. That's the honest truth of it. And a lot of things are going to be like that in your life, where you think that I am a great person and blah, 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 so that should be worth something. And other people in society aren't going to give you that credit you think you deserve. They aren't going to sit there and acknowledge the fact that, oh, well, you're a good person and you give money to charity and all of that other shit. They're going to look at you and say, how are you useful to me? What about your life impacts me in a positive manner? And if the answer you can give is, well, nothing because what you do is nice and all of that, but it's not productive, well then don't be too surprised when other people in society shrug their shoulders at your claims of niceness and goodness and say whatever and just move on. Because society is mercenary. Society values its individual components based on their usefulness. We are all cells in a body that is known as the society of humanity. Each one of us a cell. But when was the last time that you lamented the cells that flaked off your hand when you washed them? They're done with their job, right? So they're gone, and no further sadness is given. We do, as a society, value our people this way. And it isn't exactly fair, and it isn't exactly nice or kind, but it is something every person needs to keep in mind when they go about their lives. When they say, well, why doesn't this girl want to get with me, right? To take it to a practical example, why doesn't she want to get with me? I'm such a nice person, and I listen, and all of that. Well, here's the thing. There's also a nice guy who listens and all of that, and he works a very impressive job, makes good money, and has a nicer car than you. So, should the other parts matter? Yes, they should. But, if that's all you have going for you, there is someone else who can do that plus be productive and valuable, and they're going to beat you. They're going to win out over you because being a good person only goes so far in life. And if that's all you've got, if you can just sit there and say, well, why is bad things happening to me? I'm a nice guy. Well, what are you actually doing? 
to make a difference? What are you actually doing to make society notice you? Or in the previous example, what are you actually doing to be worthwhile of this other person's attentions? If you like that girl, why should she like you back other than, well, I'm a nice guy and I deserve it? Because when you approach things from that angle, it actually comes off as a bit of arrogance. Well, I'm so nice, I should get good things. Did you earn them? Well, no, but I'm nice. Well, you didn't earn them. You didn't earn good things by the sweat of your brow. So, take your niceness and shove it. That's what society's going to tell you. I personally don't espouse that. Let's get that clear. I'm not telling you just take your niceness and shove it. But that's how society's going to treat it. They're going to sit there and say, well, take your niceness and shove it because it does nothing for me. And are you giving me something? Are you helping me out in some way? No, well, no? Well, okay. Move on. Next. So to stop this negative parade for a moment here, what this means for you is that you have to do more than just be a nice person. You have to do more than just be good to your fellow man. You also have to be productive. You also have to make something of value of yourself. Because, and society's not exactly wrong for believing this either, your value to society is based on your value, your actual value, not your niceness as a person value, but the value you carry as a productive member, a valuable member of society in a practical level. And, as I said, while that is not empathic, it's not nice, it's survival. We don't have it built in us to have unlimited charity. We don't have it in us to take care of everything and to care for everyone. So use that to your advantage. Don't just be that nice guy in the corner who, I'm just a nice guy. Do something. Be productive. Create something. Be useful. Be powerful. And then you will find that the good qualities of you then matter because you're also productive. You're also useful. You're not just, I'm that nice guy and I can help because I'm nice. No, no. I'm a nice guy. I take care of my kids. And oh, by the way, I do have a surgeon's degree. I can help. And you know what? Society takes fucking notice of you then. Because you're not only a nice guy, but you're a valuable person at the same time. And that isn't something to think about. It's actually just true. So don't think about it. Act on it. Be useful, productive, and valuable in some way. I'm not just saying you have to work a steel mill job and be miserable, but everybody has a skill, a creative impulse, a something that other people can value. So be that. Live it. Don't just be nice. Be awesome. That's something to live by.